Good morning and thanks for tuning in. My name is Michaela Geis. I'm here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Just about 30, 45 minutes north of Denver here. We're coming from Stock Show if you guys are down there. It's right on the side of I-25, right on this front of the road here. So it's super easy to access. Got a whole lot for, full of trailers for you to see. But right now I'm going to be showing you this 2023 Cimarron two horse bumper pull in a white. This one does have a front tack and just a two horse slant load back there. So let's go ahead and run through this trailer and show you what this one is set up like. So it's going to have a really nice front tack on this trailer. You're still getting that giant 42 inch Cimarron door that we all love because it's so big. You are going to get a window on that door. So again, I really like that as far as ventilation and airflow and just getting some air coming through here, especially if you get some dirty saddles in here or some wet saddle pads, anything like that. You know, just kind of keep that horsey smell out of your front tack per se. It does have a clothes rod in here too. So if you do hang clothes and stuff, kind of keep those smelling somewhat fresh by having this window here. This one does have that brush tray on the door. We can change this out to a door organizer. If you guys order a trailer, you can get it ordered with the door organizer or you can do the brush tray. I really like these brush trays. I think they are huge and just great for so much storage. I like that they have those two dividers in there to make those three different compartments as well as each compartment having a couple holes in each one for draining purposes. So if you did get something in there that just happened to spill, it is really easy to just wash it out, spray some water in there and just get it drained out through those holes. And I really like the size of it again and just having that right off of your tie rings right here. So we could, this one's big enough, you could probably put all your brushes in here, huff picks, soft brushes, your curry combs, anything like that, fly spray, mane and tail detangler. I use it to store my bag of rubber bands so I can quick grab my rubber bands for my feet when I go run my horse. Um, I also have like poultice and liniment spray and all that kind of stuff for him. So I feel like I could fit all of that in here and then some. So I love the size of those brush trays. With this one being your 610 wide, you do have that running board on this trailer, but we went ahead and added upgraded to this fold down step for you. It is on that gas shock, so it's gonna help you bring it up and then help you bring it back down. And it really lowers that at least a good six inches. So I've had a lot of people comment on how nice that is, especially having to step up in here. If you do, it does have that swing out saddle rack, but if you do leave that swung in and you wanna climb up in here, it makes it a lot easier. Just gets it closer to the ground for you guys. It does have your swing out saddle rock on that gas piston as well. So it's going to help you bring it out and it's going to help you bring it back in. With it being a two horse bumper pull, you're going to get the two saddle racks here as well as your two saddle blanket bars up top. These are fully adjustable. So you can go ahead and change these bolts here and slide it up and down the full length of this. It's got that groove in there that you guys can see. So we can slide these down, get a little bit more separation in here. If you want to add more, we can add more. I always say I have more tack than I do horses, more saddles, more everything than I do horses. So it'd be really nice to be able to throw a third one on here and have three saddles, maybe throw another blanket bar or two up there and be able to really double up on all that storage as well as adjust them to wherever you want. So that is a great feature on this trailer and all Cimarron trailers, just having that option to make it super versatile, really make it work for you. Go ahead and climb up in here kind of show you the inside of this tack room. Being a bumper pull, it is still a really big tack room. You're gonna have your spare tire in here, but that really doesn't take up that much space. You'll notice it is on the floor, but there's still a lot of usable space in this front tack as far as floor space. And up above that spare tire, as you guys work your way, I'll just swing this out for you guys really quick. So you can kind of see a little bit better now that we get in here. There's that clothes bar up here that I talked about earlier. It's really nice to be able to hang jackets or show shirts, rodeo shirts, anything like that. You got some rain slickers if you're going out on a trail ride and you want to be prepared just in case it gets rained on. It's really great to be able to hang all of these up here. And again, have that window on the door to get that air flowing coming through here. Just keep things a little bit cleaner. This one is a carpeted front tack. I think that's great to keep things from stick, like sticking on this floor and keep it from kind of sliding around if it were anything else. I really like this and it is easy to clean too, being that marine grade carpeting, it's just going to clean right up for you. 
not like regular old carpet is really nice. That same carpet is gonna be behind your bridle hooks over here. You're gonna have, looks like four of these bridle hooks that come in three sets. You're gonna have 12 hooks up here with that carpeting behind it. What that carpeting does for you up here is it's gonna keep your wall from getting scratched up and it's gonna keep your horses from hearing a lot of banging noise on the other side of this wall. So if you do put your bridles here, it's got the bits, got the conchos. Maybe you have an extra set of spurs that you hang up here. Um, I just use this for everything. So anything that gets hung up here, it's gonna kind of rub up on this and kind of sway back and forth as you drive down the road. Usually that's gonna scratch up your metal, not with this carpet. It's gonna keep it clean, looking nice. You're gonna keep your tack in really good shape. And then it's gonna deaden a lot of the noise too. If it were to be metal on metal, it'd be a little bit louder. But with this, it kind of deadens that noise, keeps it a little bit quieter for anything that you're hauling on the other side of this wall. And if you guys do wanna peek in on your left corner there, that is that water tank. It's gonna be just a weird angle, but I know you guys have seen it in a bunch of our videos. It is just your standard 25 gallon water tank over there in the corner fill it at the top and then it's got the spigot on the bottom. You can run a hose out, you can fill a bucket there. Whatever works for you guys. I think that's really nice to have water on board and have that option, have that hose there to go ahead and run it out the door, fill up water buckets, wash off some boots, wash off some dogs, fill up dog water, anything like that. Get stuck in traffic, you need some water for your horses, go on to a trailhead that doesn't have a spigot, you park in the back 40 of a parking lot for a roping jackpot or a barrel race, anything like that. Instead of having to truck that water all the way back and forth, it is gonna be right here inside of your trailer. So it's really nice to have that on board. And you guys will see up on around as we go through this trailer, it does have those OptiBright LED lights. There is one inside of this tack room just gives you guys some visibility in there as well as vis visibility throughout your trailer on both sides at the rear and on the inside of that horse area as well. This trailer does have sliding bus windows on the hip side. We can order them with drop down windows. This one is going to have those sliding bus windows, which I think are plenty big enough. They are going to slide halfway open, but being the size that they are, I think that really allows for a lot of airflow inside of this trailer especially with your drop downs on that head side and your roof ends up there and you got a window on the rear here as well i think that's plenty of ventilation but we can always look at ordering your trailer with those drop downs too if you guys prefer that two horse slant load you're going to get two tie rings on each side so it is great to be able to tie them on either side you want or split them up or however you guys want to do it maybe they don't get along maybe you need to tie one on each side maybe they do get along you can tie them both here you do have those options Working our way down to these axles here, you do get two 3,500 pound axles. Usually these Cimarron's, they are 100% aluminum, so they're usually gonna come in as far as the two horse bumper pull around 2,700 pounds. So then you got 7,000 pounds worth of weight you can stick on top of these axles. Gives you plenty of loading weight there to be able to load your horses on here as well as all that tack or anything else you wanna put on here. These are brand new tires. They are the Lion's Head brand that we're all familiar with. So with that brand, you are getting one year replacement warranty, no questions asked, and then two years of roadside assistance. And with that green valve stem cover, you do have the indication that they are nitrogen filled. So again, just gonna prevent that PSI from fluctuating too much. Colder mornings, warmer days, it's just really gonna keep a, a steady air pressure in there. So that way it's not fluctuating from low to high and then what that does for you is just really reduce the risk of a blowout so nice having that as well as having those warranties on these tires makes it great gives you guys lots of peace of mind if you are hauling by yourself or hauling with a friend or anything else you don't have to worry about something like that let's go ahead and work our way back here you're going to notice that our doors are a little different size here we do go ahead and do all of ours 60 40 doors so that one over there with the window on it is gonna be your 60 door. Over here on this side is a 40 door. So we actually do have one of these down at Stock Show right now. If you guys are in Denver at all, check out our booth. We do have a two horse slant load there with that rear tack on it. So that one's gonna have those 60, 40 doors there. So your 40 door is gonna be big enough for that rear tack space. And then you go to 60 door. So that way, if you're loading your horses, you do have that bigger door there. Then you only gotta open one door. 
you just want to open the one door and throw your horses in and then shut the one door you're not having to open and close two 50 50 doors and then just makes it a little bit easier especially if you're by yourself just having to open one and then close one right behind them inside we do have that opto bright light as well we got one big one in here can always do more if you want but that one is huge and it is very bright so you're gonna have plenty of visibility in here with that light up on top we do have our standard insulated roof so you guys will see that it is white that is standard on all sim runs that is one of my favorite features of these trailers keeping it warmer in the winter cooler in the summer and it is really dent resistant to that hail up on top so one of the great features of a Cimarron trailer is their insulated roof. Then you're going to have these roof vents up here, one for each stall. They do open forwards and backwards. Go ahead and open them forwards. So they're going to pull that air in and then open them backwards. And it's going to draw that air out. So really nice to get that circulation as well as your drops and your sliding bus windows. Two stalls in this trailer with your one divider. Each stall is going to have three D rings in it. If you do want to hang a quarter feeder, that is an option there. I know mine, mine are just going to nose through that hay and try and get to the good stuff at the bottom and throw it all out. So I don't do corner feeders personally, but it is set up if you want to. You're also going to have a, two tie rings per stall. So if you do want to tie your horse on one, tie a hay net on the other. I'm big on hay nets, so that is great to have that option as well as this option. Maybe you want to hang a corner feeder and throw some grain in there or throw a bucket of water, anything like that. You do have options and versatility with this trailer. These do not have padding on this divider. That is always something our shop can add for you guys. If you do like that padding, I know some horses are going to le lean up on it, rest on it, and they might get a little bit, some rub marks from this aluminum. Like if you got a white horse or gray horse, anything like, anything like that, you're going to get that gray, grayish blue rub mark on them. So we can throw some batting on these dividers as well as that front wall. If you guys want, we can do it here in our shop or you never know like you're in traffic and you got to slam on your brakes or something and you do want padding on here it's always an option we can upgrade that for you no problem and again you'll notice in this stall it does have those d-rings for a corner feeder and that giant drop down head window that we'll see on the other side of the trailer as well and this stall is a little bit bigger than your front stall so if you do have one horse that's bigger than the other go ahead and throw them in this stall it is huge plenty of space Maybe you do have like a mare and a foal that you need to haul home. Plenty of space in this trailer to do that. And then one more thing, you guys, these trailers are made. We do order all of ours one inch longer so that way this divider can fit like flat against the wall and stay open while closing your doors. So if you ever need to clip that open and do haul, maybe a couple loose cattle or some any other stock sheep pigs goats anything like that you got some donkeys or some smaller horses or need to help someone move you're moving yourself you need to load furniture in there maybe you want to go pick up some small bales of hay and throw those in there that is great that we do make that one inch longer so that you can have that option of having it open and having that full stock space in your trailer as we wrap up back here you will notice one led light on the top for loading and unloading Again, lots of visibility with these trailers just trying to keep you guys from being able to see what you're doing. And our head side, we're going to have one more of those lights up here. Those big 16 inch awning lights on each side and your 8 inch awning light on the rear. Gives you guys all the visibility that you can. Maybe something does happen, you get a nail in your tire, you got to switch out your spare you can go ahead and flip those on the side of the road and see what you're doing that way maybe you're saddling or unsaddling it at night anything like that you're going to be able to see what you're doing and i just love that having that option on both sides and not just the side where you're tacking up these windows are the drop down windows on the head side you can see just how big they are i think they're huge you're gonna let in lots of airflow there and you do have the option of dropping down these jail bars too definitely wouldn't be driving with those down but being able to stop and check on your horses you do have that running board being a 610 wide trailer you can go ahead and step up on here feed them water them just check on them, make sure they're doing good maybe you got other livestock in there you need to check on anything like that you do have that option and then once you get hauling down the road just go ahead and put those back in super easy to do each window 
up at the top is going to have a drip rail above it. So on these cold or wet mornings, maybe you get some frost and it starts to kind of melt away and turn into some water, some moisture there. That drip rail is just going to kind of direct that water away from your seals and seams, prevent it from really getting down in there and freezing up these windows, causing them to seize up or anything like that. All these windows, all these Cimarron's are just 100% customizable and custom made. They're not cookie cutter trailers. Everything is made for this specific trailer. So everything fits really nice and tight. When you first get one in the beginning, you're probably gonna have to add some pressure as you open these windows, just to get them to kind of release and come down. They are snug as can be, just really kind of keep that from getting air in there, anything moisture like that. It is great, high quality construction on these trailers. Again, this one comes in white. We do have them in the silver metallic and that charcoal metallic as well. So you we have color options. I know we talked about doing a rear tack as well. So we do have a lot of options with these trailers and upgrades that we can do for you guys if this isn't quite what you're looking for. This is a brand new Cimarron. And like I said, it is 6'10 wide. It's also gonna be 7'1 tall, which is a great size for majority of the horses out there we can also order them bigger if you've got some big warm bloods or english horses maybe some drafts maybe you just got big stocky quarter horses and need one bigger you can always do that as well but the 610 and the 71 is a great great size for this trailer being brand new it will come with those great sim run warranties you're going to have eight year on the structure and then three year nose to tail and everything else which is an outstanding warranty they're just really proud of their product and they're going to stand behind it so they're passing that along to you. You do have the strongest floor on the market and the strongest upright posts on the market with these trailers. So if you crawl underneath and look at this trailer or any Cimarron on our lot, their floor members are every four inches. Go ahead and crawl in any other trailer and they're gonna be 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 inches, who knows? They're gonna be a lot further apart. So these ones, you have that comfort knowing that anywhere your horse steps foot on this trailer, it will be on a floor support. So, great peace of mind knowing that you do have that stability with this trailer all of our trailers are going to be referenced with a stock number we do put a stock tag on the nose of all of our trailers so if you do come walk our lot you can find that sticker you can scan our qr code and take you to that page for that trailer or you can bring me the stock number and i can look it up for you guys and tell you all about it for building a trailer you can use this to duplicate and customize however you want the stock number on this specific trailer is going to be 5N221758. Again, it is a 2023 Cimarron North Star two horse bumper pull in white. Make them in three horses. Make them in all those colors. Make them with drop down windows, rear tacks, anything like that. Anything you guys can think of. We can do the padding on the dividers. We can also upgrade. This is just a manual crank jack. They can be upgraded to an electric jack. Whatever you guys have in mind bigger width, taller, just give me a call, reference that stock number and tell me what you want to change. If maybe this one's set up perfect for you and you want to take it home, it is available today. So go ahead and give me a call. My name, my name and number should show up on your screen. It is Michaela Geis. My personal cell phone, call, text, whatever works best for you. It's 303-918-6367. Thanks for tuning in. And if you are local, come by and see us at the Denver Stock Show. We're there all week through Sunday. So I look forward to meeting you guys. Have a great day. Thanks.